New rules in Seattle require food and food soiled napkins, paper towels, and pizza boxes no longer be put in the trash. So many of us have questions about the best way to compost or better yet, how to stop wasting so much food to begin with. Joining me today is King County Eco Consumer Tom Watson with some tips. Tom, it's great to see you. Oh, it's always so much fun to be here. Okay, so it's starting in July that if a collecting driver finds significant amounts of compostables or recyclables in the garbage, they can start issuing a fine. So this is some serious stuff. It'll add up. But it's a dollar fine, and I really don't think it's anything to worry about. And people are already doing it. It's if people can just make it easy for them, right. it's not going to be any problem because all through the all across the region, folks are doing it pretty easily. We have some some ways here to make it a little easier. There's so many cool containers. You probably have something at your house. Uh, um, do you have like one of the stainless steel ones? Yeah, or? and it's it's a. I think that's a struggle for getting started for a lot of people. Where do I put this? So I don't want yeah. it to smell. I don't want it to look bad. So this is a fun. There's different ones. So this this one is from a company called Chefin. It's actually a Seattle-based company, and so it's ceramic and an inside. Oh, that's um, nice. Bucket and a nice Does it handle. Have some kind of a filter? Yes, that's, right there. Oh, that's okay. the carbon filter. Right. Most of them do now. And then this one, this is a slim line. This can really tuck different places in a cabinet or under the counter. This is from Bosmere, also with the filter. Right. And then uh, because the uh, it applies in apartment buildings, these new rules, right. um, the city is trying to to help people, help make it easier. So these dispensers, a company called EcoSave sells these and they and apartment managers can put these in there in the buildings and then people, when they dump their food waste in the general area, they can get a new bag and then you could use those there too. Easy and quick, that's mm -hmm. good, okay. And one little problem, it's not a big deal either, but the stickers um, do end up, and it's important to remember that the compost that comes from the food waste and yard waste is a product that needs to be marketed and sold, so you don't want little bits of plastic. Right, so you so, really need to get these off before yes. you throw the remnants Do you want to try it with me? I thought okay, we could sure. see how to do it, yeah. So one fun thing that we've, we've talked about is you can have kids do it. You can do them all when you get home, home from the grocery oh, store. Oh, just go ahead and get all of them off. Oh. And if, and if you have little kids, okay, you're pretty good. Opal apples, this is one of my favorite kind of apples. Okay. Yeah, I always end up digging in a little bit with my fingernail. I don't know. Well, and then um, I just heard about the tape trick. You take a piece of tape, and that'll that'll help oh, too. Just pull it off for okay. you. Yeah, that, that would more? save me from right. ripping it up with my fingernail. Yeah. <laughs> but if your kids are young enough, they might have fun doing sure. it when you get home from the grocery store. Okay. What's on this avocado? Okay, that is a food hugger. So if you um, eat half a, an avocado, oh. you can put it on there to preserve it. Okay. These are some tips to re to reduce the food waste. Right. Tell us a little bit more about that because I think that's one of the problems. A lot of people just wind up with extra stuff that they're throwing out. It would save us money if we didn't do that. Yes, and and so um, figuring out ways to store the food the best. So something like this, or any way you can you can figure out to to keep to preserve it. Um, Good, good Tupperware. This is a type made from 100% recycled plastic uh, and colorful. Kind of matches your shirt today. Oh, yes. Um, but just going back real quick, there are um, food soiled items that need to to go. Right, the pizza um, boxes or yeah, yeah, things paper like plates that. And, and you, want, you want to make sure they're marked compostable and they're not all coated. So those all work. And so those are all okay to put yes. in with your compost. Mm -hmm, to, to put in those containers. Great. And then another way to reduce the, the food waste is. Um, to consider buying stuff that isn't the perfect looking veggies. So this is an heirloom tomato. Some people might think it's kind of funky or ugly, but it, um, it's going to be just as delicious. Sweet potato. Um, and at farmers markets and more stores, you can find those now, right. and you can even ask for those. Wonderful. Tom, thanks for all the advice as always. It's great to see you. For more information on this, you can go to our website, comonews.com, and click on Como4TV. Thank you. Thanks. All right, let's get back now.